Hey everyone, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make these green tea matcha French macarons. So let's get started. In a bowl, we're going to be sifting a cup of powdered sugar. Once that's sifted, you can also sift 3 quarters of a cup of almond flour as well. And obviously you're going to be needing some matcha powder to make these green tea macarons. So you're going to add 1.5 tablespoons of green tea matcha powder into your sifter as well. And whisk all your dry ingredients together and set this bowl aside. In a separate bowl, we're going to be beating 2 room temperature egg whites. Once the eggs are white and frothy, you're going to be adding a quarter cup of granulated sugar and continue beating these egg whites on high speed until they hold stiff peaks. Now you can go ahead and add half of the dry ingredients. And you just want to carefully fold this through. Be careful not to lose too much of the air. And go ahead and add the rest of the dry ingredients as well. During this process, you just want to make sure you achieve the perfect consistency in your macaron batter. I find that this is the perfect consistency when it kind of drips down slowly like this. So I transferred my macaron batter into a pastry bag with a Wilton 12 tip and I'm piping my macarons onto a silicone baking mat and I'm using these paper templates as a guide to make sure that they're the same size. I'll leave a link in the description box down below. And you want to give your tray a bang on the counter so that the air bubbles can pop. And don't forget to remove those paper templates. And you just want to let these sit on the counter for about 20 to 30 minutes until they are matte and a thin skin has formed on the top and when you touch it, no wet batter goes on your finger. That's when you know it's ready to bake at 300 Fahrenheit or 150 degrees Celsius for 16 to 18 minutes. So you want to let the macarons cool completely on a cooling rack. In the meantime, I made this black sesame buttercream frosting. I actually made a video on this and I'll leave the link in the description box down below. So once the macarons are completely cooled, I just took one of the shells, piped some of that black sesame frosting on there, and sandwiched it with another macaron shell on top. And now you want to repeat this process with the rest of your macarons, just piping the filling. And topping it off with another macaron shell. And that's it. These are the finished green tea matcha French macarons. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye everyone.